Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on area of composite plane shapes. This is part 3 of composite plane shapes. So we start with the first problem. Problem 1. Calculate the area of the shaded part in the diagrams below. We have two diagrams here, A and B. We then start with A. For problem A, we have a rectangle in which big semicircle and small semicircle are cut off from the rectangle so to calculate the area of the shaded part we are going to calculate the area of the rectangle minus the area of the big semicircle minus the area of the small semicircle so area of a rectangle is length times breadth and area of semicircle is half by r squared so we have we have the length of the rectangle to be 25 and that of the breadth to be 14. So we have 25 times 14 minus half times 22 over 7 times the radius of the big semicircle. The diameter is 14, which is the breadth of the rectangle. And to get the radius, we divide the diameter by 2. 14 by 2 gives 7. So we have times 7 over 1 times 7 over 1, then minus the area of the small semicircle. So the small semicircle has a diameter of 7 centimeters. Because this is 7 plus 8, 15 plus 10 gives 25. So the radius will be 7 over 2. So we have so that will have it as 1 over 2 times 22 over 7 times 7 over 2 times 7 over 2. So we are going to separate them and simplify individually. 7 goes here 1, 7 goes into 7 gives 1, 2 goes here 1, 2 goes into 22 gives 11. So from here, this is 7 goes here 1, 7 goes into 7, 1. 2 goes here 1, 2 goes here 11. So simplifying the brackets now, 25 times 14 gives 350 minus 77, 11 times 7. Then here 11 times 7 divided by 4. 11 divided by 2 is 5.5 and 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. So 5.5 times 3.5 gives 19.25 we then simplify 350 minus 77 minus 19.25 gives 253.75 square centimeters representing the area of the shaded parts in the shape for a so we then go to b the analysis of this shape is we have a big semicircle in which a small semicircle are joined together so that the area now will be area of the big semicircle plus area of the small semicircle this is joined to it it is not cut off from the big semicircle so still remember our area of semicircle to be half by r squared and the radius of the big semicircle is 14 and that 14 is forming the diameter of the small semicircle so that the area of the big semicircle is half times 22 over 7 times 14 over 1 times 14 over 1 then plus half times 22 over 7 times 7 over 1 times 7 over 1 remember this is diameter which is 14 the radius will be 7 so simplifying 7 goes here 1, 7 goes into 14 gives 2, 2 goes here 1, 2 goes into 22 gives 11. Also 7 goes here 1, 7 goes into this 7 gives 1, 2 goes here 1, 2 goes into 22 gives 11. So we are left with 11 times 14 times 2 and that's going to give us 308 plus 77 since 11 times 7 gives 77 summing up this we have 385 square centimeters representing the area of 
the shape in one b so we are done with problem one we then go to problem two for problem two we are also to calculate the area of the shaded part in the diagrams below so we have diagram in a and b starting from a we have the area to be area of the rectangle minus area of the two semicircles and luckily here the two semicircles have the same diameter so we are going to join them to form a complete circle so that we just find the area of the rectangle minus area of the complete circle so area of rectangle is length times breadth that is 13 plus 10 then minus pi r squared that's 22 over 7 times 7 over 2 times 7 over 2 remember this 7 is representing the diameter of the semicircle this 7 here is representing diameter of the semicircle since this side is equal to this side 6 to get the radius we divide the 7 by 2 that's how we got it here so that 7 goes here 1 7 goes into 7 gives 1 2 goes here 1 2 goes into 22 gives 11 here we multiply this is 130 minus 38.5 since 11 times 7 is 77 77 divided by 2 gives 38.5 so carrying out this subtraction we have 91.5 square centimeters representing the area of the shaded part in shape 2a so we go to the b part for the b we have a large semicircle and two similar semicircles were cut off so to get the area of the shaded part now it is going to be area of the big semicircle minus area of the two small semicircles so here now we are going to have our area of the big semicircle to be half times 22 over 7 times 14 over 1 times 14 over 1 remember this is the radius of the large semicircle which is forming the diameter of the small semicircles and these small semicircles when joined together they form a circle of diameter 14 centimeters and radius 7 centimeters so we now have it as minus 22 over 7 times 7 over 1 times 7 over 1 remember we said when joined together they form a complete circle so 7 goes here 1 7 goes into 14 gives 2 2 goes here 1 2 goes into this 22 gives 11 so on this part we have 7 goes here 1 and 7 goes here 1 11 times 14 times 2 gives 308 then minus 154 since 22 times 7 gives 154 subtracting this we have 154 square centimeters representing the area of the shaded part in 2b so that's all for problem 2 we then go to problem 3 problem 3 calculate the area of the shaded part in the diagrams below we have diagrams a b and c so we start with a for a we are going to calculate the area of the shaded part by calculating the area of the big rectangle and minus area of small rectangle if you can see now this is not shaded so we calculate the area of the entire rectangle minus the ones that is not shaded so area of rectangle still remains length times breadth the length of the large rectangle is 25 and the breadth is 20 so we have 25 times 20 minus the area of the small rectangle that's 22 times 16. so 25 times 20 gives 500 22 times 16 gives 352 so subtracting them we have 148 square centimeters representing the area of the shaded part in 3a so we then go to b for b the area of the shaded part is going to be area of the semicircle minus area of the rectangle 
area of the semicircle is half times 22 over 7 times r squared our r is going to be 7 since from here to this place is 1 1 2 plus 12 gives 14 14 divided by 2 gives 7 2 times 7 over 1 times 7 over 1 remember the 14 is the diameter and diameter is divided by 2 to get the radius minus the area of the rectangle which is 12 times 3 so 7 goes here 1 7 goes into this 7 gives 1 2 goes here 1 2 goes here 11 that's going to give us 11 times 7 gives 77 minus 36 12 times 3 77 minus 36 gives 41 square centimeters representing the area of the shaded part in 3b and that's all for 3b we then go to 3c so area of the shaded part is area of the circle minus area of the square and since the circle has radius 7 centimeters we have it as pi r squared pi r squared so 22 over 7 times 7 over 1 times 7 over 1 then minus area of the square which gives 10 times 10 7 goes here 1 7 goes into this 7 gives 1 so 22 times 7 gives 154 minus 100 154 minus 100 gives 54 square centimeters representing the area of the shaded part in 3c and that's all for problem 3c and the entire problem 3 and this is where we are ending this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it please like and share this video check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all problems on plane shapes until we come your way again goodbye